Is it really possible to learn machine learning if you don't have a computer science background? Well, the answer is yes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Smitha. Ever since I've started making YouTube videos on machine learning, I get reached out to a lot, especially on LinkedIn. And I'm honestly really surprised by the amount of people who don't have a computer science background or a computer science engineering background, but they're still really interested in learning machine learning. So in this video, I'll tell you guys exactly how you can learn machine learning from scratch with no technical background and no computer science degree. Before we get into the video, I've actually created a mailing list which you guys can subscribe to where I share all the latest machine learning resources and also what's happening within machine learning and AI. It's really informative, so I definitely recommend you guys to check it out. And if you do subscribe, you're also going to get a free PDF version of the entire roadmap on how you can learn machine learning from scratch. It's going to include really helpful resources, which I can't mention all of them in this particular video. And it's also going to give you the exact time frame that it takes to complete each particular stage of the roadmap. So definitely check it out. It's super helpful. So the first stage is learning AI basics or machine learning basics. The second stage is learning math. So especially math, which is going to help you understand machine learning algorithms. The third stage is learning a programming language like Python. The fourth stage is actually the main part where you're going to take an actual machine learning course, a very detailed machine learning course. And the last stage is to do a lot of machine learning projects and add that onto your portfolio. So if you guys complete these five stages, you can successfully uh, learn machine learning and become a machine learning engineer. With that being said, let's get into the video. So the very first stage that I would recommend is actually to take a basic course into what AI and machine learning is. So this course is not going to be a technical one. There's no coding involved. There is no hard math involved. It's just going to explain to you exactly what machine learning and artificial intelligence is because for a lot of people who are coming from outside of computer science engineering, it's honestly difficult to understand what machine learning even is. So this is a great starting point. The second stage is learning math, which is related to machine learning. So this involves probability theory, statistics, and linear algebra. So you can take an intro to statistics course on you know, any favorite platform of yours like Coursera or Udacity or whatever. So that will be really helpful. A lot of people actually think, well, what's the point, you know, because when, once you actually start coding, you're probably going to use a library anyway, which takes care of a lot of the hard math for you. But the advantage of learning this math is that when you are implementing those algorithms, you actually know what you're doing. You actually understand how it's working. So this is a really important step. The third stage is to learn a programming language like Python. Now, people coming from non-technical backgrounds, they can be easily intimidated about learning coding. But to be frank, Python is one of the best languages that you guys can start to learn coding with. In fact, a lot of universities uh, choose Python as the first language to teach a lot of undergrads who are studying computer science. So it's one of the best user-friendly languages that you guys can start off learning. So when you start off learning Python, pick up the syntax and also how to implement some basic data structures. And once you've done that, you can play around and experiment with libraries like NumPy and SciPy, which you'll probably be using a lot in the future. The fourth stage is actually taking a machine learning course. Now there's tons of machine learning courses out there. Some of the best ones are on Coursera or platforms like Udemy, so you guys can check those out. But what these courses essentially teach you, their most machine learning courses are structured in very similar ways. So they will teach you how to solve three different, very common problems that in machine learning. The first one is dealing with images and computer vision. The second one is natural language processing. And the third one is time series data. Now, don't worry if you don't understand what those mean, you'll learn these along the way. But at this stage, what, what really happens is you get to play around and learn really useful machine learning libraries within Python, like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and OpenCV. So you're essentially building a really good foundation here. Now, the fifth and final step is continuous learning. 
And I honestly think that this stage is the most important one because at this stage, you're going to be practicing with different types of data, getting different types of projects into your portfolio, and also learning more advanced concepts within machine learning. For this particular stage, there is no definite time frame. It's a stage which is always going on. It's always a continuous stage. So continuous learning is a huge part of machine learning and within any trade actually. So guys, with all of these stages, if you're someone who has no technical background, I'm really confident that if you follow these stages, you will be able to learn machine learning and even become a machine learning engineer. To know the exact courses that I highly recommend, do check out my mailing list where you will get the free PDF which contains all the resources that I recommend and also the exact time frames. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.